appear at five, a gap of confusion between the public perception of how officers handle situations with people in crisis. 41 Action News reporter Jordan Betts shows how police in Overland Park are aiming to help folks understand how the department approaches suspects living with mental illness. The Overland Park Police want you to know there is help for those struggling with mental health. Pretty much every shift we're going to have some call as related to a mental health component. The department provides resources to the community through their crisis intervention team. On Saturday, the team taught people how they train to de-escalate a situation to help someone in the long run with mental illness. We like the idea of that it being another set of tools that they can use on their tool belt to be able to identify the situation that they're walking into and be better prepared to either handle the situation that's presented or provide resources and help after the fact. One person who came to learn is Sarah Purcell. I'm a school nurse in um, a local school district here. She sees kids on a daily basis with anxiety. She says their needs go beyond her nursing degree. They really just need time to talk it out and get out of the classroom just for a minute to decompress and sometimes it's stressful. Purcell hopes her attendance will end the stigma. It's so common and it's not an abnormal thing. And she wants her students to know they are not alone in their fight. Anything else I can learn is just more in the bucket than I can use. In Overland Park, Jordan Betts, 41 Action News.